Okay. I never know where to look. I'm gonna try looking at my the square instead of straight ahead at the um, entire device. But anyway, I have a about 45 minute class for you today. You just need one weight, um, a mat, chair, sofa, portable bar, mounted bar, sturdy surface and um that's it that's it right yes yep that's it um we will be up we will also be down i will tell you because i know some folks have knee issues there will be some of our leg stuff when we go down onto the floor um where we will go onto our knees and like all fours if you do not like to do that you can bring yourself up to your surface and mimic it by folding over as much as you can and you can do stuff here like you're down on all fours but you can protect your knees that way and that should be it hopefully it doesn't get too hot up here today but you know it might um, this is, if you like to listen to the music in the background, I'm going to try and do more of this without playing the music in the background on the actual videos since YouTube hates when I do that. Um, and I don't want them to ever mute anything out where you can't hear my voice. And I am not as tech savvy and have not taken the time yet to teach myself how to mute out voiceover, any of that stuff. Um, but this is bar 151. Um, from my Spotify playlist. So if you um, like to follow along, you can listen to that. You can put anything on in the background that you like or just keep it um, silent and just listen to me talking at you. Um, whatever feels best for you. But I am gonna go ahead and hit play. I just like the music for the beat, so if you are listening to something and you want to find the beat and it's a little off with me, that's totally fine as well. So um, just find what works for you and what makes you happy when you're doing your workout. All right, let me go ahead and hit play. We are going to start standing with your right hip to your surface. Your feet are going to be parallel. I want you to bring them in nice and tight. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Hand can be on your hip right. Actually, let's hold the weight in our outside hand. Squeezing your thighs together like you're holding a piece of paper and you don't want it to drop out. All right. You're going to stay flat foot right here. You're going to bend those knees and straighten. Let me show you from the side. My knees are driving forward. My weight staying back over my heels. So really press into your heels. You should be able to lift and wiggle those toes the whole time. I don't want you shifting the weight forward. That's how you hurt your knees. So you're just bending and lifting, dropping down and lifting, staying flat foot right here. I'm just showing you from the side, up, up, down, down. Now hold it down. I want you to give me tiny pulses down. You are squeezing those inner thighs together, your tiny pulses, driving your heels, I mean, driving your weight down towards your heels. Bring that arm right here to 90 if you can. Four, three, two, one. Heels lift and lower. Now notice I'm not changing the shape of my legs. My knees are still bent. I'm not hinging forward. My back and tailbone are still back towards my imaginary wall. Now keep those heels lifted and pulse. Down, down, down. This is super tiny. Eight, four, three, two pulses down, one up. Here we go. It's down, down, up. Drop, drop, lift. Good job. So drop, drop, lift. Notice I have not hinged my torso. Pull your belly in nice and tight. Drop, drop, lift. Drop, drop, lift. You guys should feel those quads warming right up. Two more and then you're going to hold it down again. Give me pulses. Here we go. Pulse, pulse. Now add a bicep pulse. Up, up. 
squeezing that upper arm into your body. Squeeze, squeeze. So even if you had no weight in your hand, you guys are contracting, you should feel that you're working into that bicep muscle. Tiny, tiny pulses here. You're gonna step your outside foot forward just a little bit. So you're in a narrow lunge from the side, it looks like this. You still have your weight back towards your heel. You're pressing those knees forward, but the weight is not forward, so you're not hurting your knees. Four, three, step it back to center. You're pulsing the biceps the whole time. You're squeezing those thighs together. If you need to lower the heels or go flat foot at any time. Eight, we're gonna step that outside foot back just a little bit for that narrow lunge. Step it back. You notice my torso just steps back towards the back heel. Eight. Four, three. Step back to center. Last time pulses here. Whew. Squeeze, squeeze. You should feel your bicep. The fronts of those thighs should feel like they're starting to shake. Four, three, two, one. Stand tall, up, curl, lift, curl. Curl as you lower. Four, three, two, hold it here. I want you to keep this inside leg bent. Now, if you need to lower the heel or come flat foot at any time, you can. You're going to press out for bicep. This outside foot's gonna extend out and come back in. So from the side, I look like this. Out, out, squeeze and straighten the arm and leg. Out, out, in, in, press, and in. Tapping that toe right next to your standing foot. In, in, again, you can drop to flat foot. Notice I have not straightened into my standing leg. Out, out, in, in, four more, out, and in. Press out, and in, out, out, in, in, last time. Let's go a little quicker, shorten the range of motion. It's out, in, out, in, straighten, straighten. Now you notice I'm not trying to lift my leg, I'm just straightening it out behind me. Four, three, two, Hold everything out. Flip the palms up. Leg and arm pulse up. 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 So we have our palm up. So you're still working into your biceps here. You have not straightened through that standing leg. Again, lower the heel or go flat foot if you need to at any time. But keep that leg bent. Tiny. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now just take that arm back from the side. I look like this. Keep the leg long. You're just gonna bend, straighten, bend, straighten, tricep work. Bending, straightening, bending, straightening. That toe can be on the floor. Just keep that leg nice and straight. Four, three, Palms facing in towards the body. I'm just showing you guys from the side. Pulse that arm up, up, up. How's your standing leg? You should feel that glute and the thigh. Squeeze. Four, three, two, and one, come all the way down. I'm gonna turn my bar to the other side. Repeating that entire series. Other leg is now to the outside. Squeeze those thighs together, stay flat foot, and just drop down and lift. Drop down and lift. Bend the knees, 
lift. So this is your little act of recovery right here. You guys should feel that you just worked that other leg, that standing leg. Four, bring that arm to that um, 90 degree bend. Just holding the weight, keeping that upper arm glued nice and tight. Now hold it down, tiny pulses down. Down, we're not gonna do many here with the flat foot. Eight, seven, six, squeeze those thighs together. Four, three, two, hold those legs. Lift up with the heels and down. Lift up and down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Four more, those knees stay bent. Three, rolling all the way up onto the ball of the foot. You've got your support right here. At least for this part, I want you to do that. Hold those heels up, pulse down and down, down, down. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Inner thighs are squeezing together. Weights back over those heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Now up, down, up. So pulse, pulse, lift. Pulse, pulse, lift. Good job. It's down, down, and up. Down, down, up. Squeeze through that bicep. Down, down, lift. Two more. And you're gonna hold back down for those pulses. Pulse those biceps as you pulse those legs. Squeeze, squeeze. I'm gonna get my fan on. Squeeze it, heat it up real quick in here. Up, 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 up. Squeeze, squeeze. Remember your outer foot is gonna step. Narrow lunge forward, down, down. Those knees are pressing towards the toes. Your weight is back towards your back heel. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, step those feet together, pulse it down. Squeeze, squeeze. Good job, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Four, three, two, outside foot steps back, narrow lunge, back. Remember your body shifts right back with that back heel. Knees are still pressing forward. You should be able to see tops of both knees when you look down. And you're looking straight ahead, tailbone and back, along your imaginary wall. Tiny pulses here. Last eight. Step those heels back together. Last time, eight. Squeeze those inner thighs. Last four, three, two. We're gonna go to those singles. Lengthen those legs and arm and curl, lift. Curl just eight like this. Curl, rise and curl. Four more, three more, two. Hold it here. Now again, you can stay lifted on your inside leg or you can drop to flat foot, but that knee stays bent. Extend the arm and leg. Tap back in. Press out, out. In, in. Out, out. In, in. Press, squeeze. Now, the higher you um, straighten the arm on the angle, the more you're gonna feel the shoulder. So if it becomes too much or you feel like you start to shrug or lean, lower your angle to straight out or even down on a, a diagonal towards the floor. You're just working on straightening through the arm and leg. Out, out, in, in. Everything locks straight. Squeeze, lock them. Pull them back in. Two more, out, out, in, 
in. We're going to shorten the range of motion. Take up the tempo just a little bit. It's out, in, out, in, tap, squeeze. Two, one, extend everything long. Leg is lifted, palm faces up. You can have that soft bend, pulse them out. Squeeze, so from the side you see my biceps working. I'm not locked out here, I have that soft bend. Squeeze, squeeze, up, up. Bicep and legs, eight. Four, three, two, standing leg is still bent, and one, hold that leg up, bring that arm right back, palms in, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bending, straightening, and squeeze. If you can keep that heel lifted even a little, I want you to do that. Four, three, two, hold that leg up and pulse that arm up. Squeeze, squeeze. That leg is just nice and tight out there. Squeeze for the tricep. Arm is in nice and close. Last eight, seven, six, five, four more, three more, two, and one. Come all the way up. Whew. Shake those legs out. I'm going to take my bar off to the side. We're done with that. We're coming down onto the floor. Whew. All right. So listen to me, if you prefer to be standing, you can start on the mat and then when we turn to get all fours, or you can come to your surface and mimic our side lying stuff, just kind of leaning here, okay? And then rotate, if that makes sense. Um, if you don't have a mat, you definitely need like a towel or something if you have a hard surface and don't have carpet. All right, you're gonna come down onto your right forearm and your right leg. This right leg is bent right now, okay? Whew, I need like a thicker mat here. This carpet doesn't have as much cushion or this rug has my carpet here. Let me just, I don't need this whole mat extended long. Give me a little padding on my hip right here. All right, bottom leg is bent. Top leg is long, nice and straight. It's not behind you, it's not in front of you, okay? It's right there. Bring that top hand behind your head if you can. Lift this top leg up till you feel the catch in the side glute. You're straight, here we go. It's lift a little, lower a little. Lift a little, lower. Up a little, down a little. Up a little, down a little. So we're not going all the way to the floor. Three, two, one. Hold that leg up to your highest point in tiny pulses. So I'm keeping my arm here so I can feel my sideline getting a little crunch. If it feels better to bring that arm down, you can, but you are lifted. Your rib cage is away from the floor. Tiny, tiny. Little squeeze, 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 squeeze. This leg is nice and straight. You see I'm barely moving, maybe one inch. Eight, seven, belly's in. Six, five, four, three, two, and eight more times. Eight, seven, six, this leg should feel heavy. Four, three, two, one. Drop that leg long. You're gonna come on to all fours. All right, that same leg that was lifted, bring that knee in. 
you're going to get lift out to the side. So you're going to lift up and down, right out to the side, up, down, up, down. So I would like you to have your hands just outside your shoulders. If you need to come to your forearms, you can come to your forearms, but you need to be on both forearms. Two. All right, we're going to add on. So you're going to lift up, extend out, bend, and lower. Lift, extend, bend. So from the front, up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Good job. Lift, extend that leg, bend that knee, bring it down. Four, three, two, one. Hold that leg there. Flex that foot. Lift it up. Extend that leg out and in. Hamstring curls right here. Out and in. Out, in, out, in. Belly's in nice and tight. Four. Three, two, take that leg out nice and long, squeeze from the glute through that heel, pulse it up, squeeze, squeeze, tiny, tiny, heels to the ceiling, toes to the floor. We're here. Eight. Four. Three. Extend that leg. Second set up. Now, again, if you want to take some of that pressure off, bring those forearms down, but you are equally distributed on both arms. Eight. Last eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, bend that knee, pulse up. I know that standing leg is fatiguing. Eight. Last eight, seven, six, five. I'm dripping sweat. Extend that leg, third and last set up. Seven, six, five, four, three. Bend that knee. Last time, pulse up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Extend that leg, drop it down, come down onto that forearm. Same forearm as leg, um, as bent knee. You're going to externally rotate slightly. So side leg, side of the foot are going to face the ceiling, pressing into the palm here, or you can bring it in close. You're going to lift, lower, up a little, down. So if I show you from the front, you'll see I'm externally rotating on that slight diagonal. Up, down. It's hard for me to do that with the um, curtains behind me. You're just lifting a little, lowering a little. That leg is nice and straight. Hold 
it up to your highest point. Tiny pulses. Up, 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 up. Squeeze. Last eight, seven, six, five. You're shifted over those arms. Pull that knee into your shoulder. Press it out. Pull it in. Squeeze. Press it out. Pull it in. Press it out. In, in. Out, out. Squeeze. You guys should feel that um, waistline, the back side of that waist. Woo! Two more. One more. Hold that leg out, then that knee. Square those hips a little bit. So it looks like this from the front. It looks like this. You're going to lower that bent knee down or over that leg. Drop, lift. Drop, lift. Drop, lift. Eight. Seven. Squeezing into the outer corner of that glute. Four, so foot to ankle, two, hold that attitude, that leg pulses up, pulsing from the outside of that knee, squeeze, whoo, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, sit into that hip, switch sides, whoo, you guys, I'm dripping sweat. We have the other side. Whew. All right. Set yourself up onto that opposite core, space between the ribs and the leg. Bottom leg is bent. Hopefully I have space with that bar. All right. Top leg is nice and straight. You're lifting it up till you feel that catch. You're gonna lift up and lower a little. Lift a little, lower a little. Hand can be right here. You can support yourself right here until you're ready for those pulses. Four, but my elbow and my tricep are in line with my leg, not in front of my body. Hold that leg up to your highest point and pulse it. Squeeze, it's tiny, tiny. Squeeze, squeeze. So you've got that little crunch. And it's out. Halfway there, good job. Squeeze, squeeze. Last eight, seven, six, five, four more, three more, two, and one. Lower that foot down. Come down onto your um, all fours. Same leg. Bring it in. Take those hands out a little wider than your shoulders. Lift to the side and lower. Up. So now you notice, I'm not lifting and opening. I'm just lifting to how high I can lift without unsquaring my hips and shoulders, if that makes sense. Four, three, all right, add that extension. So it's lift up, extend, in and bend, up, out, in, and bend. Good. Up, out. You've got to keep that core control. Up a little. Out, in, down. Four more. Three. That leg certainly feels heavy. 
Let's go four more. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Two more. Up, out, in, down. All right. I mean, I'm dripping sweat. Is anybody else sweating? Please tell me if you're sweating in the comments. All right. Take that leg back. Hold that leg long. You're right here. Here we go. Curl in and out. In and out. Squeeze to curl. Extend. This is your hamstring curls. Curl in. Extend. In. Extend. Four. Three. You know, we got three rounds of our pulses. Hold that leg long. Here we go. Pulse up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Eight. Again, I like to keep a hard flex or a hard point. You choose which feels comfortable. You can switch between rounds. You just either want to be pressing those big toes or those heels up to the floor. I mean the ceiling. Squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Extend that leg. Long pulse up. Your standing leg, I know, is fatigue. I felt myself arching my back, trying to scoop my belly in. It may lower my leg. Four, three, bend that knee, pulse it up. Long leg, last time. Again, you can come down onto the forearms. You just keep that leg tight, squeezing from the glute to the feet. Last eight. Seven. Six. Pulse up, pulse up. Squeezing from the base of your seat. Squeeze. Last eight. Seven. Six. Four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Sit into that hip. And switch. All right. Whew. We're coming into a bear crawl for those quads. One last bit thing here, and then we'll go onto our backs. Curl those toes. All right. 
I want you to lift those knees up so you're just in a hover on all fours. You're going to straighten those legs and bend them. Up, up for the stretch. Down, down. Just hover. If you need to come all the way down to the mat at any point, take that option. Lift, up, hover the floor. Up, up, and down. And down, down, up, up, down, down. Two more, up. All right, hold that hover, little pulses. Down, down, down. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold that hover, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Whew. All right. I'm going to extend my mat back out. You are going to come down onto your backs. Bridging your hips. Oh. Let me see where I'm at with my music. Oh, good. Okay. So, we're going to work our hamstrings and our glutes. When we're bridging like this, I want you to think about not thrusting your hips all the way up like you're squeezing all the way up. I want you to think about those hip bones, which are right here near the crease where your legs and your hips are creasing. You're going to scoop those hip bones, lifting those glutes slightly as you scoop those hip bones to your um, rib cage, all right? And then you lower down. You just lift, lift, lower, lower. So you see the difference between this and thrusting your hips all the way up, lifting that back. So your back's really not coming up, just the low back, maybe a little bit, and up. So you're squeezing those cheeks together the whole time, pressing those feet into the floor. Up, up, down, down, up, up. Now hold up, squeezing those cheeks. Give me those tiny little squeezes that cause that little bitty pulse. Up. Up right now, those knees are right over top of those heels. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight, seven, six, three, two. All right, now listen to me. You're going to lower back down. You're going to walk those feet out a little bit. So those knees are a little wider, those heels are away from your knees now, all right? So now you're making that little triangle with your feet, your knees, and your glutes. Same thing, you're going to lift those glutes, curling them, scooping up and down. Squeeze, squeeze, down, down. Squeeze, squeeze. You should feel the hamstrings a little bit more here. Up, up, down, down. Your cheeks are engaged around that piece of paper the whole time, so do not relax. Here's my relaxing, I'm dropping. Here's my not relax. By keeping that contraction, I just tap and come a little right back up. Now hold it up and give me little squeezes. Squeeze, squeeze. Feel those hamstrings. Eight. Tiny, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold. Now can you walk those feet out a little bit more? Your knees are still going to be slightly bent. Heels are driving into that floor. Maybe you can lift up a little higher. So really working the hamstrings with an almost straight leg. Here we go. You're going to tap, lift, tap, lift. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Tap, lift, tap, lift. 
four more. Three, two, hold it up, just hold up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower all the way down. Extend those legs long. Hands are coming behind the head. I want you to cross that right ankle over your left ankle. I want you to scoop that belly, press that back flat onto the mat. Hands behind the head, you're just going to crunch. Up and down. Lift. 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 Squeeze. Lift. Up. Down. Up. Down. Two. Hold it up. Tiny pulses. Up. 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 Up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Uncross that right ankle. Cross that left ankle. Here we go. Squeeze. Find where you can press that spine into the mat. You're just lifting ever so slightly up off that mat. You're not tucking your chin to your chest. Head is gazing up to the ceiling. Lifting and lowering. Up. You should feel that whole core. Four, three, two, hold it up. Tiny squeezes. Up, up, up. Eight, seven, six. You should be burning. Four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Cross those ankles, bring those knees up to tabletop. All right, I want you to take that right hand and press against your right knee. Your right knee is going to be pressing against your right hand. Left arm's up. All right, left arm and left leg are going to extend like a dead bug. You're going to go out and up. Press that right hand and that knee together so you've got tension over there the whole time. That back is pressed into that mat. in the mat and abs are engaged. Two, one. Now hold that arm and leg out. Hold it, hold it. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Left hand press against that left knee. Right arms up. Press that back in the mat. Right arm and leg. Down, down. Up, up. Down, down. You're pressing against that knee and hand. So that left side's engaged the whole time, fighting against each other. Out, out, in, in. Exhale, inhale. Out, in. Two more. Hold this next one out. Hold, hold. Four, three, two, one. Come up. Extend those legs long. Arms are long. Press that back into the mat. Everything's going to lower together. Here we go. It's drop. Two, three, four. And lift. Two, three, four. Lower it out. Two, three, four. And lift. If you want to lift that head up off the mat, you can. Down. Two, three, four, and up. If you need to keep the knees bent, you just lower them the same way. Drop down, two, three, four, and up. That entire core is working that back is pressed into the mat. So you only drop as low as you can until you start to feel that arch when it comes into that back. It's not about how low you go, it's where your body lets you go. 
So you could be getting the same work on a higher angle or a lower angle as long as that back's pressed into the mat. And whether your legs are straight or bent. Now hold it to your lowest point. Hold, hold. Four, three, two, knees come in. Rock it side to side. Ooh, massaging that spine. All right, I want you to drop that right foot down to the mat. Left foot crosses over that right knee. You're gonna lift that right foot up, that left knee's out to the side, and just pull in, feeling that stretch in the outside of that left glute and thigh. If you wanna put your hands behind that right hamstring, you can. If you wanna lift those right toes up, you can. If you wanna lift your upper body, you can. Whatever feels good, but keep that left knee pressing out to the side. And then lower that right foot back down. Cross that left leg over that right and drop over to the right side, keeping your shoulder blades and shoulders square to the floor. Just getting a little bit deeper here. And then bring those knees back through center. Uncross that right, uh, left leg off that right and bring that right foot to that left knee. Lift that left foot up off the mat. Right knees out to the side. Again, you can stay here. You can grab behind a leg. You can lift the toes, whatever feels good to you. Just getting that nice stretch in that outside of that right glute and thigh. And then bend that knee, drop that foot back down to the mat, cross that right leg over the left, and let those legs drop over to the left side as far as you can go without lifting the shoulders or shoulder blades. They stay square. Nice breaths through this stretch. Bring those knees back through center and uncross that leg. Drop both knees into your chest, holding on to those knees from the front or the behind, and you're gonna rock yourself up to seated. Extend those legs nice and long. Take a nice deep breath up and flat back towards those legs, just as far as your flexibility is gonna allow. And then round into it, reaching for your shins, ankles, or your feet, dropping that head down towards your knees. Whew, you should feel the backs of those legs, be able to flex into those feet, get deeper into the calves, ankles, and bottoms of those feet. And then bring those legs or feet to neutral, scoop that belly, tuck that chin, and slowly roll yourself up to center. Roll those shoulders up, down, and back. Bring those legs together. Take a nice deep breath all the way up. Bring those hands together over your head, and on your exhale, bring them heart center and give yourself a round of applause. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next week.